एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू वी एफ एक्स वाइव वंस अगेन सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक एंड इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन डू सीन स्केलिंग इन साइड न्यूक आफ्टर डूइंग ट्रैकिंग सो येस टूडेज वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो सो बी विद अस एंड विदाउट एनी डिले let's get started okay so let me explain my setup as you can see over here i have a footage where i have my laptop uh, sitting on a surface and it's handheld shot and camera is moving inwards right so what i did i did some grading i did some reduce noise and i did some lens distortion as you can see over here and i am having a camera track why i did that because to save some time right so already i made a several videos in camera tracking you can go and you can check so in camera tracking what i have did what i added two user track because it's very important to know the distance of that particular element right so i'll, I'll let you know why i am uh, saying this so before solving what i'm going to do yes everything is fine looks fine to me and what i'm going to do i'm going to solve it straight forward i'm going to solve it and i'm seeing i'm having 1.55 solve error which is not correct so i'm going over here and as usual i'm going to change it to 10 probably and probably 3 i'm not going to do it in detail because already you know all the stuffs yes it's it's pretty much satisfactory for me probably i can do some more tweakings but it's okay for now right so once this is done what i have to do i have to adjust my ground plane right so the way i'm going to show it to you it's pretty simple what i'm going to do i'm going to select few of my ground plane elements or ground plane tracker or ground plane's point cloud and i'm going to make it ground plane right something like that probably i'm not going to select these because it's it's something like this okay so i'm pretty much satisfied with my selection i'm going to right click ground pen set to selected hit tab and as you can see over here almost i am getting ground pen on my ground or on grid but one major problem is there my camera is flipped so purposely i am doing it i'll let you know how we can fix it right so after that select any one of the uh, track point and just ground plane and set origin right so what will happen that particular point will turn into a origin but still i am having my ground plane inverted so there are two ways to fix it probably let me show it to you probably what i'll do i'll go over here and in camera tracker and i'm going over here and i can create my scene and as you can see over here my camera is flipped just go to camera tracker and go to scene and here just go to right side right now you can rotate your camera by 180 degrees so what will happen automatically your camera will be adjusted but let me check in another view like uh, from front view as you can see it's tilted little bit tilted so what i can do i can go to uh, camera tracker scene and probably i'll start tweaking things like i'll can rotate it in uh, z axis probably and might be i can adjust it little already i told this technique multiple times so there is nothing new and probably i can again check to left side or right side and probably i can lower it down little so i think it's pretty much self explanatory how you can fix your that thing but overall i am having a good camera track and point clouds right now the major problem is let me do one thing let me take scan line render and connect to object and connect to camera right and let me take one more merge and this will be my background and this will be my foreground something like that and before connecting what i have to do i have to select lens distortion again i have to redistort my output so just go over here and in lens distortion you can uncheck this so what will happen Re it will redistort and if i'm going to see i'm having a pretty nice tracking data but this these stretching are coming because i haven't enabled my over scanning so i'm going probably I, i'll do 150 over scan so that will be fixed if you want to know in detail i have already made one separate series for that so you can go and you can check it right now the main crux of the story how we can do scaling so you remember i added two user track points 
these two points so basically what i did i put those two track points purposely because i have the distance between two user elements right so i know what is the distance between the, these two points so the distance is 14 inches right so nuke is unit independent right so if you are going to import this data into maya it will automatically adopt the centimeter unit but what i recommend always try to put data for scaling in meters right so i have 14 inch of distance from these two points right so first thing first i need to change this data or change this information into meters so i'm going over here in google and i can type uh, inches to meters right and i'll type 14 so i'm having 0.3556 meters right so i don't have any option to put those data so what i'm going to do i'm going to select my two user points right click in ground plane in uh, sorry sorry in scene i'm going to do add scale distance so in c node automatically you will get a constraint and in this constraint i can put my own measured data which is 0.3556 meters and in 3d view i'm going to put 0.3556 and as i'm going to hit enter you can see my scene is scaling can you see that so this is the way how you can scale your scene inside nuke and you can export that scaled version of tracking for maya for max for any other dcc application so you can add multiple constraints like in x-axis in y-axis if you have measured that data probably you can put some tracking markers you can measure some data and you can add those data into meters right if you want to know more about scaling in detail like how you can export that data to maya or max or how you can use this scaled data inside maya so please comment down below definitely i'm going to make one more video if you need it so hopefully you will learn something new in today's video and if you think that this video is helping you and you are learning something new please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe. With this said, this is VFX Vibe signing off. Have a good day.